हेलो एवरीवन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नो एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन इन सिक्योरिटी लेक्चर दैट सिक्योरिटी डील्स विद द एक्सटर्नल थ्रेड्स सो हेयर इट आई हैव रिटर्न दैट इट जनरली डील्स विद द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट एंड सम ऑफ द मिस यूज इंसिडेंट डेट कैन हैपन फ्रॉम एन एक्सटर्नल सोर्स टू एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आर फर्स्ट in an in any operating system there are uh, lots of information so if a hacker or a malicious user tries to steal that information that that can be a part of external threat so that incident can be theft of information then if a malicious user tries to modify the data present in a operating system then that can also is a misuse incident so that comes under the unauthorized modification of data now an example of that can be suppose there is a domain d1 and there are files f1 and f2 and initially only the process executing in domain d1 can access files f1 now there is a attacker x external to the system and that attacker intentionally changes the domain access matrix and gives the permission of this also so by this this x is unauthorized Yeah, uh, this X, which is unauthorized to perform any modification to this access matrix, is modifying it, and that is a external threat to the operating system. Now, third can be unauthorized, unauthorized destruction of data. So similarly, if this X deletes this entire entry, so what is the consequence of this? The consequence of this is a process executing in this particular domain D1 now long now cannot access any of the resources F1 and F2. So these are three of the incidents. Now in these three incidents, this unauthorized word is very important because. a legal or the legitimate external user can still perform modification and destruction of data but if the user is unauthorized then that comes under the external threat of the security breach now there are different security levels first is the physical level now the site containing the computer system must be physically stored so site containing the computer systems must be physically secured now uh, in this you can take an example of a bank so what happens in bank is that there are security guards outside the bank and these security guards prevent any kind of malicious user from entering into the bank now same goes with this operating system security level so if we have a computer system here at a site at a place then there should be the physically physically uh, security measures should be implemented so that any malicious user is stop from entering in this building so this is the physical security level now the next is human now even the permitted users should be carefully screened so that the chance of authorizing a user who may give access to the intruder and is is reduced so the human we can say that we should have certain kind of authorizing mechanism implemented authorization or authentication mechanism should be implemented so that a normal user can be distinguished from the intruder 
so uh, you can take an example of this also suppose if a user y enters into the bank and tries to access the mainframe or the softwares installed in this bank then that should be stopped the third level of security is network level now in modern days there are uh, the data normally travels through the internet so there are certain lease lines shared lines like internet or in india there are dial up lines also so the inter <coughs> sorry the interruption of this communication should be remote denial of service attack and others so this should be secured so for example if i say there is a data traveling from this site to this site and in between we have this network so this data this message should be properly secured so that a intruder or the malicious user sitting in between these two sites cannot access to this data so in this the concept of encryption comes into play which we are going to discuss later in this tutorial series the last level of security is the operating system now the system must be protected itself from accidental or purposeful security breaches so we should have certain security level installed in an operating system so that it should be protected from itself accidentally uh, performing some security breach operations so this is different security levels of operating system now as we i have already told you that the authentication plays a very important role in security there are three different kinds of authentication mechanism that are used first is the password based then we have artifact based and biometrics based now password based is a simple password user id password combination for example if i have user u1 and the password of user u1 is u123 now whenever this user wants to enter into the operating system that operating system ask for the username and password so suppose this user enters u1 and 123 so then this os checks this user id and password in the database stored inside the operating system files and if the match is made that for user u1 the password is 123 then a success is written from the database os and this os will grant access to this user now if the user u1 enters 12 then this will return false and this user is not allowed to enter into the os and the problem with the password based mechanism is that normally the passwords are stored in plain text files so if a attacker or the hacker somehow gets access to this database containing all the username and passwords then then attacker can gain access to this os imposing as the legitimate user so this is one of the main problems of this password based mechanism there are certain uh, algorithms implemented for the security of this password base also like we use md5 sha which are hash so instead of storing the password as plain text the hash value of that password is stored in the database so that is a security topic which i have already covered in computer network security so if you want to study in detail you can refer that video also but as per the operating system part is concerned this is enough that password based mechanism works like this and to make it more secure we can use hashing techniques like md5 and sha <laughs> sha now second type of authentication mechanism can be artifact based now artifact based authentication mechanisms includes machine readable strips or magnetic strips and this can be smart cards debit cards credit cards and all these cards contains machine readable 
मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रिप्स दीज आर द आर्टिफैक्ट बेस्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन मैकेनिज्म नाउ कार्ड रीडर्स आर इंस्टॉल्ड इन द कंपनी एंड यूजर और द एम्प्लॉय इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सप्लाई द आर्टिफैक्ट विच कैन बी स्मार्ट कार्ड और एनी अदर कार्ड फॉर द ऑथेंटिकेशन पर्पज द लास्ट इज द बायोमेट्रिक बेस इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिक्योर ऑथेंटिकेशन मैकेनिज्म it uses two different characteristics of the human one can be physiological and another is behavioral and depending on these two different kinds of characteristics there are different biometric authentication mechanism which are employed for the authentication purpose now the physiological means fingerprint the most commonly used biometric is the print of your finger or the thumb in the common cases other kinds of physiological characteristics can be retina and face so these are the physiological biometric mechanisms behavioral means signature dynamics the how you are writing your signature what is the uh, intensity of your key strokes then voice etc so there are two different kinds of biometrics uh, authentication one is physiological and one is behavioral the drawback of biometric is that it is costly and somehow it intrudes the privacy of the user because all of the behaviors of the user is being recorded in the system all of the physiological characteristics of the user is recorded in the system but still it is considered as one of the most secured biometrics uh, one of the most secured authentication mechanism so this is the first video lecture on security of os in which we have seen about the security security levels and different kinds of authentication in the next video we are going to see about the threats there are two different kinds of threats that we will study program threats and system threats thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials thank you